it's all magnified, but it's, there's no ownership with it. My child, my parent, possessiveness, ownership, ownerships. Love does not possess. Love does not possess. You know, that's the lesson of, of freedom, of true happiness, you know. And, and the ego takes, it's not, not enough to just stay with houses and cars and phones and all this. My, 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 my shirt, my arm, my leg, my wife, my husband, my child, my, 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 my. Remember the Linda Ronstadt song, Love is a rose, but you better not pick it. Only grows when it's on the vine. Handful of thorns and you know that you've missed it. Lose your love when you say the word mine. Possession, ownership. That's the core. People think I take this too far. They say, this is a cult, David. You are a cult. I say the whole cosmos is a cult. I'm the deprogrammer. I'm the voice of the deprogrammer. I'm saying, let it go. Let go of your, your possessive ways. They say, oh, that's, that's freaky. <laughs> Shared bank account. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Cult. They say, no. The world of private, private ownership and, and weaponry and armies and jails and prisons and all of these hierarchies and power and control and everything. If you perceive that you're in that world, you're living in the cult. It's a cult of the mind. And I'm here just representing the deprogrammer. I say share. They go, ooh, that's cultish. <laughs> what do you sh share everything? Ooh, ooh. No private ownership. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, no. I'm the deprogrammer. I'm here to give the glorious good tidings of the f freely you have received. Now freely give. That's what the way shower taught us, you know. Taught us to share. You know, so it's radical. And it seems to take radical trust, but believe me, it's hallelujah time when you get into it. Yeah. But, but it's like everything, the world that seems regular and normal and natural has, is upside down. It needs to be turned right side up. You know, it's a whole different way that we're talking about. Yeah. That's our rockin' New Year's Eve. That's right. Give up ownership and see what shows up then, you know. Because really, if it's all mind and it's all mental, then ultimately it has to be letting go of thoughts. Like any kind of a possessive thought, even about a metaphysical thought. Like, that's my metaphysical thought. You know, then that's the same thing. It's not really like there's an external world. It's really, it is all thought. Spiritual experiences and what, what they mean and, you know, and putting them on a, a ranking. Oh, I hit... I had this. Oh, you think that was a good experience? I had this. You know, it's like a spiritual competition even around mm -hmm. memories of, of experiences. You know, it's the same, it's the same thing. It's like a possession of a memory. Don't you love that when people say, oh, that's a cherished memory. Maybe we shouldn't cherish it. If, if that memory that we're cherishing is holding us from the experience of God, Maybe we shouldn't cherish memories of time and space. Maybe we should be more like eternal sunshine of the spotless mind and see that the Holy Spirit is the great deleter of, <laughs> of memories. You know? And not be afraid of losing our memory. The world will say, well, if you lose all your memories of time and space, you, you go insane. Well, maybe that's not the case. 